Okay, I just did a video. Uh, the name of it is What is Satan's Purpose? What's Satan's Purpose of Being Here on Earth as a lowercase g God? Some people are confused about why Yahuwah allowed human beings to be here as flesh and blood and suffering and uh, endure affliction of Satan. Why Satan didn't just get killed away or whatnot. Look, this had go. Well, this is how God is doing it. When Yahuwah created the angels, he created the angels to live forever. So he can't kill angels. Angels can't die. I'm going to just say that he created them the way he wanted to create them. And that's to live for all eternity. I'm not going to sit up and say God can't kill angels. He do what he want to do at his will. But that's how he created angels. Angels and angels are spirits, people. Angels are spirits. God is a spirit. Jesus is now and then is a spirit. See, see how Yahuwah put himself in a flesh form when he was born from a woman. God could do anything he wants to. He's omniscient. You understand what I'm saying? omniscient he's he he has power to do things according to his will so okay the the angels are spirits and they were designed to live for all eternity boom get that out the way right so what happened when lucifer decided to be reckless and ungrateful Yahuwah decided to say, okay, cool then. You going on down there and handle earth. Because I'm finna work on something else right now while you holding that down. And he 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 could have put him in the abyss. But what would be the point of that? See, Yahuwah want a family. He want a family. That's what Elohim stands for. God is family. So what happened is, God said, well, I'm going on to create humans then. The reason why he didn't create us uh, in spirit, because it would be all over again. Like what Lucifer and the angels who are now demons and who is now Satan is. See, why would Yahuwah make us spirits all over again and then it's highly a chance of us doing what? Lucifer at the time did. You see what I'm saying? And you and he, he create once again. Think about it. He create the angels to live forever. So not only is he dealing with the the demons and Satan's rebellions forever. Now he got to deal with another creation who can live forever in rebellions. That that just don't make sense. So he made us flesh and blood on purpose. Why? So we could get it so we can develop so we can develop godly ways so we can develop into godly ways with the help of his spirit that's why he sent Yeshua to die he sent Yeshua to die because even before Yeshua came the children of Israel as an example was not getting it you got to keep killing lambs you got to keep making physical sacrifices because they didn't have the spirit of Yahuwah in them. Yahuwah pick and choose who he wanted, but he want everybody to get it. And since everybody is not going to be able to get it, so what he decided to do again was sin himself. <laughs> As the word. So anyway, Yeshua came. And, and died for us. Now, when Yeshua died for us, was the ultimate, was the ultimate gift that God could have ever done, even better than creating us. You hear what I'm saying? Because when Yeshua came to die for us, he died for everybody, not just the Israelites. He died for everybody. Thank you, Father. Now, okay, 
at this point, that's the reason why I stated that the uh, renewed covenant would be better than the the first covenant because we have and we have a chance to become spirits now, like the angels. We have that chance. We have a great uh, we have a greater chance to become that spirit. What God has been wanting us to become, but in order for us to become that spirit, we have to be of godly character. So God is. He created human beings to get into his godly character as a spirit. Then once we become like God in a within in our spirits, then we can be part of the kingdom with perfection. See, we're not going into the kingdom like this and all egoistic and, and uh, having low self-esteem and hating on the next person. All that hate and stuff like that, we got to get that out of us. We got we, we, we to get that out of us. You know what I'm saying? We, 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 we can't go into to the kingdom with none of that in us. So he's given us chances and time to get it out of us. The only way we can get it out of us unless we are doing what God needs us to do and that's serve him. And when we serve God, he puts his spirit in us. When he put his spirit in us, then we are moved. We are moved to be obedient by God all the way up to the second coming of Christ. When when Christ comes, he's going to get his true church. And they're going to, boom, in a blink of an eye, be transformed into spirit. Because you got to be a spirit in order to join the kingdom, like the angels. You can't be flesh and blood in heaven. You have to be a spirit. So just like he created the angels, the angels didn't have a chance to go through trials and tribulations and then be turned into a spirit to live forever. They were top-notch created as angels. And for the good angels, that's their then highly blessing to them because they kept their faith. And they kept obedient with God, Gabriel, Michael, and the rest of the angels that didn't go with Satan. See what I'm saying? So, by the wicked being disobedient, the angels, they got a, God got a place for them because they can't die. So, they're going to be somewhere in, in miserable torment for all the rest of their lives because they spirits. But with us, all he going to do for the wicked who don't get his spirit What's going to happen? He just going to destroy them. They just going to be out of there. Get it? Because they're not going to be turned. The wicked is not going to be turned into a spirit. During the third resurrection, the second death, they're not going to be turned into spirits. Remember, spirits live forever. When the second death comes with the wicked who choose not to receive salvation and repent and turn from their, their wicked ways, what's going to happen with them? They're going to be resurrected. During the third resurrection, they're going to be resurrected and they're going to get humiliated. God is going to humiliate them by judging them, letting them see what they've done and why they're going where they're going. Oh, yeah. He's going to do that before they die. They didn't just wake up and just die. No, they're going to get judged. And the judgment is going to be them being reminded on how they were living. And it's going to be too late for them to decide they want to get it. No, see, 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 God ain't got time for that. He didn't wait long enough. So anyway, when that time come, the reason why it's the second death, because the first time that they didn't die, they waited until they was risen in the third resurrection because they finna die again forever. So flesh and blood is tossed off forever. They not finna be turned to no spirit. Why? What's the point of turning them into a spirit? They're not gonna live forever. They finna die forever. So you... When you're turning to a spirit, that means that you got it. You got it. But as long as you flesh and blood, you're in training. You're in training to get it. So that's what this is all about. God said, well, you know what? <laughs> I'm not going to create more angels so they can do what yes, uh, <laughs> my bad. So they can do what Lucifer did and the uh the, the evil angels did who are now demons. He ain't finna do that. So I'm just going to create them humans first. I'm going to create them as human beings so they can develop into getting it and then once they get it and they don't lose it, then I'm going to 
turn them into a spirit. And those who die in righteousness, those who sleep, they're going to be first to be risen. And they're going to join into the kingdom as spirits. See? That's the reason why you got to be careful with saying you're born again. Ain't nobody born again right now. If you are converted, if you are called by God, that means that you have received his spirit and you become spirit begotten Christians. Spirit begotten Christians mean that you are now in training. You are now in training, developing into godly ways, waiting to join into the kingdom. When we join into the kingdom, that means that we are being born into the kingdom. We are being born into the kingdom. Born again is because we were once born by flesh. We were born by flesh. And the second birth is going to be of spirit. We're going to be born by spirit into the kingdom. We're born into the kingdom means that we're born into God's family. As flesh and blood, we're born into our mommy and dad dad family. We are we are family with our mommy and dad dad physically. When we got a little baby brother and little baby sister, that baby brother and baby sister is born into the physical family. But when we are born again, that means that the second time we're going to be born, we're going to be born spiritually into God's family. God got his family. Huh? It's going to be a whole new civilization. Not this. All this stuff is going to go to pass. Everything that you didn't gain physically of this world is going to be forgotten. We're going, we're going to the new kingdom. We're going to be part of the kingdom. Huh? That's what God said. We're going to be, reun we're going to be reunited as, as bride. That bride of Christ. The true church. So anyway, that's, that's the answer to the question somebody uh, asked. That's why God created us as humans, which is a blessing. That's a blessing because we get a chance. So all the trials and tribulations we go. That's why God said even when you're going through bad things, still rejoice. Still rejoice. Still rejoice. Know that you're going through it for a reason. Still rejoice. And you would know because once you get God's spirit in you, you would know discernment, right? Discernment means knowing the difference between good and bad. You would know if you're being punished. You would, it, 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 his, his children don't get punished. We just get disciplined. We get rebuked and, and, and disciplined and corrected. So you would know when you're being corrected. And you would know when you're going through a trial. See what I'm saying? People, they say somebody go through like, man, I'm going through, so what did I do? What did I do wrong? Especially if you know you didn't do nothing. That's the time to go to pray and ask for discernment and thank you anyway because you know you're finna get a blessing out of that. Something is going on, but he need us to grow spiritually. He need us. That's what he did with the deal with, to uh, Job. Job still had a little bit of nonsense in him, so he had to get it out of him. Huh? He had to get it out of him. You know what I'm saying? That's why he blessed him three times more. <laughs> So just know that we are here temporarily, but we need to uh, develop a godly character that will last a lifetime in the kingdom. Don't let these fake pagan uh, sent by Satan people confuse y'all on how y'all should be living y'all lives. Buddha, Nation of Islam, Sunni Muslims and other religions, they not going to do nothing for you. I'm trying to tell y'all. These other fake religions are not going to give you life. They're going to give you death. All these fraternities, these Greek organizations and the elite and all that. These are pagan shenanigans from Satan himself, y'all. Oh my gosh. Y'all, y'all, don't, don't fall for it. And it's going to get worse and worse. The majority rule, that means there's going to be a lot of this lies going on. And people are going to be confused on who they should serve. And <laughs> people are gonna be confused, so they not gonna go to God because it's only a few of us. If it's just a few of us, then the majority gonna be looking like, oh man, they ain't no why. The lost is gonna be like, well, I ain't, I ain't going over there because they getting persecuted and, and they this and that. I ain't, I ain't the majority rules. I'm, I'm gonna go over here where everybody else is at, where, where the crowd is at. You don't want that. But let me tell you something: the wicked and the spiritual ignorant are going to be looking at God's chosen ones. They're going to be looking up. And they're going to be like, we're going to be rulers. We're going to be rulers. Looking down. Trying to teach. And like, now what? Come on, let's get this knowledge. See what I'm saying? Think about it. Just what happened with Joseph and his brothers. 
He had a dream. Oh, y'all bow down to me. They got mad and sent them on his way. Lied to his father talking about he was uh, killed. They hated him that much. They was jealous of, his, of their own brother. They was jealous. They wanted to kill him. But he just was being honest about his dream because he was called. God favored him. God chose him. He was special. And guess what happened? <laughs> they did just that. They bowed down to him. They need him at the time. They went to him for help. See what I'm saying? You see how this is going? All the ones that's being persecuted, mocked, laughed at. <laughs> We're going to be the ones who people are going to end up needing. We're going to be the ones looking down. We're going to be the ones who they're going to be looking up to. And we're going to be teaching. We're going to be helping them get salvation. That's the reason why he said, just be glad your name is written in the book of life. Just be glad. We got you. You got to go through it. Those that's laughing. Those that's, that, that's ignoring you. Trying to call you out. Talking about you a liar. And all this shenanigan. Yeah, all right. Okay. Keep teaching. That's what he told Ezekiel. That's what he told Jeremiah. Keep teaching because this is a rebellious nation. This is a rebellious nation. Just keep doing it. You don't want no blood on your hands. They can't say they didn't get it. They might not have accepted it, but they can't say they didn't hear it. Why? Because you obeyed me and taught it anyway. This video, people may not agree to it. I do a lot of videos about my father who told me to teach the gospel. A lot of people may say, you this, you that, you liar, you that. But I have to teach. I have to teach. I, I can't let that, I already know that's Satan behind that. Hallelujah. I already know that Satan behind these wicked people. Hallelujah. So, God bless y'all, man. I hope that y'all can get these, um these lessons and uh, read the Bible for y'all said before you read ask God for wisdom ask God for his wisdom not your own not Charleston White or whatever dude name uh, not such and such not Dr. Umar and all them they, they don't know not the Hebrew Israelites they don't know no get your wisdom from Yahuwah from God man alright Shalom